О, Тиле! Крею! Пішли сліду! Тиле! This is one of the training grounds in the Donetsk region. Here, soldiers of the 57th Separate Infantry Brigade are recovering from flank assaults near Bakhmut and practicing new combat skills. Six training points. The first point is shooting of personal weapons, like automatic rifles, machine guns and so on. The second training point is anti-tank firing. This is something that every soldier needs to know, because we encounter foreign weapons, all sorts of things, so that servicemen going into a trench could take it and work with it. Next point is tactical medicine. Behind us we can see engineer and demand in training. We work with all the mines that we encounter, so that the personnel knows where the mines are, where to step on, where not to step on. And another training point is machine guns. This is the basic training that every soldier must undergo. After all, the enemy also learns battle tactics. Therefore, it is necessary to constantly improve. It will not be possible to liberate Bakhmut quickly, the Ukrainian defenders argue. There's an accumulation of enemy's manpower here. Therefore, there is no need to haste. We need a beautiful, tactical approach, as our command does, a tactically competent approach. If we do this in a rush, then we can lose our people. It wouldn't do any good. At this moment, the brigade is making progress. We have completed our tasks in all areas where we have been. Volodymyr is conducting engineering training with the soldiers. The topic of the lecture is mine explosive devices and working with them during an assault. When you haven't seen it once, it is very, very difficult to examine it. And there is something that we have to pay attention to when we see this kind of ammunition. If I am walking, I see it lying down there. That tells me that there's a lot of them in this place. Unfortunately, many servicemen are blown up simply because of not knowing and understanding what it looks like. That's why it's our life, our safety. We need to win and the guys need to stay alive. Therefore, knowing this ammunition is all about changing the behavior and attention of the guys, so that they understand how to react tactically when they see this ammunition, what they can do and what they should not do in any case. Volodymyr has a lot of experience. In a year he went to Chernihiv, then to Kherson regions, and now he is near Bakhmut. Now he pays more attention to mining than to demining. Now we are in a slightly different kind of war. Earlier we were on a defense. Now we have to knock out the enemy and liberate our territories. And these are always new frontiers, meaning the guys will always enter new territory. It will be 100% mined. That's why this is the most important task for them, to understand how to work properly, not to get blown up themselves and to help their comrades. Take out the firing pin, remove the safety, pull the bolt, turn the handle so that it doesn't get it in the way, and take it out. Everything is disassembled, everything is replaceable. Firing pin, slide, everything. Roman is showing his fellow soldiers an American machine gun and a captured modernized Kalashnikov machine gun. He says that during the sweep of the enemy position, he saw the weapons abandoned by the enemy and decided that they could be useful. Of course, NATO weapons are worth an order of magnitude higher than those produced by the Soviet Union. But when you have to deoccupy your own land, anything works. The calibers are the same, the bullets are the same, but the casings have a difference in millimeters. What is better and more comfortable is this one, but reliable, this one. This one weighs 8-900 without the magazine. This one is 12.5 kilograms without the magazine. During 15 months of service, Roman was a grenade launcher and a gunner, and now he is a machine gunner. He has six wounds, but this does not hinder his desire to liberate his native land from the occupiers. A grenade was thrown under my feet. I got a concussion. At least three shrapnels were in my head and three in my shoulder blade. Two of them were taken out of my head, with one still left there. One more was removed from my shoulder blade, and two are still there. One of them could hit my lungs, but it got stuck in the rib. Instructors teach the soldiers to react to a danger quickly and act in a coordinated manner. Vladislav has been at war since February the 28th last year, and even with his military experience, he finds the exercises very useful. In any case, this science is also useful, I believe this, as it allows us to keep ourselves in shape. And maybe it will come in handy in a counteroffensive one day. 
After a short recovery, the servicemen of the 57th Brigade will once again return to assault operations in the outskirts of Bakhmut. Today, friendly units are holding their positions there and moving forward. Over the past week, Ukrainian soldiers have liberated about two square kilometers of land in this direction. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Anastasia Volkova, Artem Voronin, UATV News.